Kyle, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. Now this will be for the 11th to the 17th of July 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay, I have all kind of shuffled all of these cards. Right, tell me what's going on with Virgo. These flew across the room, okay. You're not trusting your intuition with something. And someone's being dishonest. I feel like they make a lot of false promises to you. Um, which will cause, you know, some sort of ending. But... I just feel like, yeah, they're not being honest about what it is they want with you. Um, but I feel like you need to trust your intuition, right? Because it's about integrity. And I don't know if you're the one that's not being honest or they're not being honest, take as resonates, but yeah it's like you have positive expectations and also um you need to see the situation for what it is this person needs some integrity that's what i think give me one moment give me one sec okay let's find out some more the mystery in reverse I just, I just feel like there's something you're not seeing. Um, you're too trusting because you know that you want to, you know what you want, right? You want to be happy, you want what you want. But I feel like that's why you're too trusting. But it's like you're not even seeing there are things happening to kind of tell you or help you and and give you some sort of guidance, but you're not even you're not even seeing them. You're not even getting this kind of clarity. Um, you're not seeing that this person is doing something that they shouldn't be. I don't know if somebody's not even really that happy in this situation but you can manifest what you want and I feel like you're not at the moment you're not manifesting some sort of new beginning um, but also you're not even happy this is, situation is not even giving you you know pleasure of any kind um, so I feel like this is a message though that keeps on keeps on happening it's like the same same messages the same information um but you're needing to get some sort of clarity about this situation tell me more yeah look not seeing and once because you're not seeing there will be a a death or a breakup or something like it's gonna be done Really pay attention. Look at all the fine details. Look at their actions because actions speak louder than words. I just feel like you really need to open up and kind of see the situation for what it is and then work on manifesting what it, what it is you do want. Um, yeah, I feel like C 
see that they're being dishonest. Trust your intuition. Trust these uh, messages, omens. You know, maybe you see a lot of birds. They're there to help you. Um, yeah, it's an unstable situation. It's a risky endeavor. Um, you really need to pay attention, like I keep saying. Give me one sec. Also, be a free spirit. I feel like you just need to be a fool, like the fool, you know, maybe be a free spirit, take new chances, have new beginnings, um, travel, whatever. But you need to break the cycle. You need to have this something that's going to be a major change. It's going to be a big push. It's going to be some sort of turning point for you because this situation, you know, sometimes the universe and God and whatever does see things we don't see. And it's not a good situation. Something needs to change and something will change. And I feel like then, then you're going to be some sort of free spirit. It's going to be something that's going to, you know, be an emotional loss for you. It's going to cause grief. It's going to cause mourning, sadness, depression, all those things. But this person is ruthless. They are controlling. They're unpredictable. Like... Maybe even a narcissist. They do what they want, but they're very impulsive. And it's draining you. Emotionally draining you. You know? Um, stop being so gullible, I want to say. Also stop wallowing in, you know, just stop wallowing. Stop playing the victim and actually make some changes. But the truth is going to come out. This is the karma card. It's about a life lesson. This is all life lessons for you. You need to future plan, look at every angle, make some decisions about your life. I feel like in the past you've made some poor choices. Um, but you need to now prioritize yourself and actually make some make some good changes and some good decisions. Um, I don't know if you're ruled by materialism or somebody is ruled by materialism. Um, but, yeah, have patience, invest in things that are actually going to be good for you instead of, you know, these things that are not a good situation. Can you tell me more about this bad situation? Trust your intuition. Look, broken dreams, manipulator, wounding. They're vul you're vulnerable, you're keeping it all in, or someone's keeping it all in. You need to have a new perspective and realise this is a toxic, oops, you can't even see, Make change your new perspective, toxic situation, and make some swift progress and get out of this situation. Anyway, that's what I have for you. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next read. Bye.